Auto Line Daily is brought to you by Bridgestone, passion for excellence. Dow Automotive Systems, improving durability and increasing design flexibility with Betamate structural adhesives at DowBetamate.com. And by Hyundai. Experience the 2011 Hyundai Sonata today at HyundaiSonata.com. This is AutoLine Daily for January 13, 2011, and now, the news. UAW workers could be headed for some pretty good profit-sharing checks this year. Ford's UAW workers could get a $5,000 bonus. GM, Ford, and Chrysler are keenly interested in going with profit-sharing instead of baking in higher wages and benefits and more vacation time, which is exactly what got them into trouble in the past. With profit-sharing, Everyone benefits when times are good and allows companies to hold their break-even costs down if there's a downturn in the market. The automakers want the hourly workers to earn their bonus the same as salary workers. It'll be based on sales, market share, and quality, not just profit. And Wards reports that the Detroit Three want to pay the profit-sharing bonus in stock instead of in cash. As you know, Honda unwrapped concepts of the new Civic and Civic Si at the Detroit Auto Show, and we just got some new video of them both. Honda says they provide a glimpse as to what the production versions will look like when they go on sale this spring. The company didn't say specifically which engines will be available, but said it will still be available with a gas engine, a natural gas version, and a hybrid. It will also be available with Eco Assist, which uses graphics in the dash to help the driver max out his or her fuel economy. You don't need me to tell you Ford is on a roll. With Captain Mullally at the helm, the company has successfully navigated through troubled waters and has some serious momentum right now. Adding another feather to its cap, it just took top honors in the Polk Automotive Loyalty Awards a study that looks at automakers' ability to retain owners over repeat buying cycles. During 2010, the firm measured nearly 5 million return-to-market events, as they're called, and here are some of the results. Ford took home awards for overall loyalty to manufacturer, as well as the overall loyalty to make. It was also the top brand amongst African Americans. Not surprisingly, it also took the gold in the mid-slash full-size pickup category. Some other winners include Kia, which was honored with the most improved loyalty to make title, while the Dodge Challenger was tops in the sports car category. The race is on to develop advanced new batteries for electric vehicles. Lithium ion is the current front runner in this field, but it seems everyone is scrambling to come up with something better. According to Bloomberg, Toyota is researching a technology called magnesium sulfur. Allegedly, these batteries can hold twice the energy of today's lithium ion cells, which in turn have about double the capacity of nickel metal hydride packs. Toyota is also looking at aluminum and calcium as potential battery materials, but don't expect any of these advanced cells to come out in the near term. Magnesium sulfur batteries may be ready around 2020. Hey, don't forget to tune in to AutoLine After Hours tonight. We'll be starting a little bit earlier than we normally do at 6.45 p.m. Eastern Time. Our guest tonight is Camillo Pardo, the guy who designed the extraordinary Ford GT, and will also be broadcasting the show from his studio. Join me and the auto extremist Peter DeLorenzo for AutoLine After Hours. And coming up next, we'll take a look at some of your questions and comments. And now it's time for You said it. Jets Corp saw our coverage of the outrageous off-road version of the Ram pickup and says, yes, I've been waiting for months for Chrysler to start offering the Ram runner to the public. Ford Raptor, the end is nigh. 
Seawolf wasn't very impressed with the minivan concept that Kia showed at the Detroit Auto Show. He wrote in to say, the Hyundai slash Kia copycat people are sure on a roll. The KV7 Lite looks like the concept was from an Audi. I'm not sure they can create anything on their own. I'm just waiting for their overconfidence and finger in every market segment to bite them in the rear. If they want to improve their cars, they should focus on removing the engine, tire, and suspension noise from the cabin. A $27,000 Optima? Go fish! But D-Cars doesn't see it that way. He says, Koreans work hard and deserve the position they have earned in the automotive world. The Sonata looks great, and I'm going to check it out at the next auto show. Tony Gray saw last week's Autoline After Hours program with Bob Lutz and has some pretty good advice for anyone else who didn't see it. He says, a plug for you folks who may have missed Bob Lutz on last night's Autoline After Hours. Go watch it. And he's right, go watch it. And while you're at it, check out the John's Journal section of our website or check out our YouTube channel for our complete coverage of the Detroit Auto Show. We have an astonishing number of interviews, as well as a tour of the floor of the show. It's a great program to have running in the background while you're at work or doing some other chore. But you know, that brings us to the end of today's program on the top news in the global automotive industry. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.